Hey everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to use Pose Player. I've had this request a couple of times so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and do it and hopefully it's not too confusing. I'm not great at explaining things but I've gotten this question a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm also going to assume that you have already installed Pose Player. What you do is you get it off of Mod The Sims and there are on Mod The Sims and also I believe on SimWiki and on NROS there are myriad thorough and easy to follow explanations on how to install mods. And honestly, like I said, I'm just not great at explaining it. I'm only going to confuse you more. I can do this with Pose Player because it's pretty simple and straightforward, but otherwise it's it's not it's not ideal. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is, I, I've talked about this before, always employ safe modding tactics before you install mods, before you install anything new, even like store content or custom content, obviously, or um, anything like a new expansion or a stuff pack, always, always, always make a copy of your saves and also your DC uh, cache folder because it will save you a lot of heartache. Seriously, a lot of heartache. In the event that something goes wrong, you will have backups. So even if you have to reinstall, you'll have everything you need. Um, what else is there before we get started? I'm actually, I'll go into a little bit on how to create a photo shoot itself, like how I do it, because I've noticed a number of people who are newer to Pose Player or taking thumbnails have very dark photos, and uh, that's not as attractive to the eye. So, you know, it's best to use some additional lighting. So I'll show you a few tricks on how I get my, my photos and things like that. Ah, there's something else I feel like I need to tell you, and it's not coming to me, so we'll just have to see if it uh, comes to mind. This is Lucy. If you've watched Runaway Teen, you'll see that, that Goose aged up. I think that she's actually... She's really gorgeous. Like, uh, Ruby and Noel's genetics mixed together very well to make a rather beautiful girl. Although I know some of you don't like my Sims. I like my Sims. You know, what are you going to do? Okay, so first and foremost, um, I'm going to turn on testing cheats. So if you don't know how to do that, it's testing cheats enabled, which is all one word, and then true helps if I type it correctly. Thank you. Testing cheats enabled and then space true. Another thing you're going to want to do in advance is type move objects. Now for some people it's move objects on. That does not work in my game. Mine is move objects true. You can try both. One of them should work. What this allows you to do is move things that you technically wouldn't or usually wouldn't be able to move in by mode. So normally, I would not be able to pick up Lucy, but I can because of that. All right, we're going to get back into this. Uh, okay, so what you do is when you have Post Player, actually, we're going to go back into buy mode. When you have Post Player, you purchase it in, in decorations under miscellaneous, and it shows up. Um, it's one dollar, or one simoleon, so you just purchase it, set it down anywhere on your lot. I recommend, for simplicity's sake, that you place it somewhere near where you're going to be taking your shots, and then move it, because otherwise it's, uh, we'll move it out of the shot. Otherwise it's just a pain in the butt. Okay. So, we need to select a pose for her. Now, in order to do that, you actually have to have poses. It's not enough to have pose player. So what you can do is search on like My Sims 3 blog or you just go ahead and Google Sims 3 pose packs and there are tons and tons of poses and you install them the same way you install the pose player, which is in your mods folder. But like I said, find a tutorial. There are lots of very thorough and clear ones. I recommend the one on Sims Wikia that you get to through the NROS site. If you Google, um, Excuse me, I have the hiccups. If you Google, uh, like, if you type this out, N-R-A-A-S as one word, that's N-R-A-S, space, 
how to install. That's all you got to do. The first thing that comes up will tell you exactly what to do. Otherwise, there are, like on Mod The Sims, there are clear tutorials. It's the best way to go about that. So when you click on Pose Player, what you see is Pose By Name, My List, and Select Post From List. For simplicity's sake, I mean, you can choose poses you like and add them to a list which sort of creates a, uh, a, just, um, what's that thing? Um, a bullpen, essentially, of, of what you're, you usually use. Pose by name is if you know the exact name of the pose and you don't want to search through, like, scroll through the list, that's what you're going to do, but we're going to choose pose from list. Now, you can choose it while you're paused, but it won't do anything until you hit play. Oh, she's making a crazy face. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that they won't move into the pose if they're in the middle of an animation. So always make sure they're standing perfectly still. As you can see, some of these will actually work for both genders, but these are primarily male, and I believe these only work on males. So you have male and female ones, you have them for different ages. Obviously, if you put a child into an adult pose, it's going to stretch them out to look really odd, um, or oddly. The same goes for if you put an adult or a teen into a child's pose. It gets a little wonky. Let's pick one. I have some weird poses in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just do a nice demure one that I've used frequently. Let's see. Da, da, da. This one. I like this one. The shy pose. So there you go. It takes a second. And essentially, if you give it a moment, she will move into the pose. Sometimes it seems like it's taking a while. If it takes longer than like 10 seconds, then odds are you're going to need to re-enter the pose. And that's pretty much it. Now let's say I wanted to take to take a photo of this. And I'll actually show you what it's like to pose another person. Actually, let me pose another person with her. Who's on the second floor? Not you. Not you. Okay, let's just go with Alexandria because she's not really doing anything super important. Now you'll notice when we get upstairs that Goose is in exactly the same position. Get up. Go here. Okay, she's going to move there. I wait until she's completely out of an animation and pause. It's best to pause, I would say. Okay, so what we can do is actually... Let's go into buy mode, and we'll move her up here before we do anything else. You just do what you would do with furniture. And we're going to stand her right here. You can, with move objects on, you can overlap them. Some poses actually work that way where you have to overlap them. Okay, so we are in live mode again. We're going to select a different pose from the list. All right, let's go ahead and choose one maybe that's sitting. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, let's choose this. So there you go. As you can see, now this is part of... Oop, hello, thank you. Nope, move along. Let's do that. This is part of a, another pose. What is this? Am I inside the wall? Yes, that was creepy. Okay, so yes, this is part of another pose. So let me show you. If you want them to release from the pose, you just go ahead and do that, and they're done. Select pose from list. I will put her in the other part of the pose. Now some poses, in order to make them work, you need an item that you download off of Mod The Sims, which is called One More Space, Please. Um, I think I've passed it. Yes. Okay. So, okay. You can see. I'm going to put the walls down for a second. You can see she's in the other half of the pose. So we're going to go into buy mode. Now this is where it can get a little difficult, lining them up. So, yeah, this is where it gets a little, a little wonky. I think she has to turn. So what you do is you put her in position, and instead of just like turning her like this, which can sometimes result in um, 
in them being in the wrong position and all of that. Uh, what you can do, because sometimes the radius is pretty wide, so you can hold down Alt and just make ever so slight adjustments without her, well that wasn't slight, these are actually, and you can hear it click. Hi. But I don't know exactly how these two are supposed to fit together. Let's try, just spin her around again. And this is the hardest part, is trying to find... Yeah, see? Okay, keep going. Um... You know what? I almost wonder if she goes on this side. Yep, I'm gonna say that's probably it. We just need to turn her a little bit. Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, this is already a mess. Nope, turn. Nope. I mean, and you can sometimes line these up and fudge them a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'd have to take a look at the thing to see how they're supposed to fit together, but you, you see what I mean. But most poses, like let's say you have one that's raised up off the ground, most of the time the poses have that already built in where your sim will actually be off the ground. Um, actually, I can show you that really quickly too. Okay. so. Most of the time, that's how it works. But sometimes, like I said, you'll need that one more space, please. So that is also, like I said, something to keep in mind. But a lot of it is intuitive, and once you figure it out, it's not a big deal. So see, this says male and female, but you can also do female and female if you really want to, or male and male. And yes, she is lifted up off the ground automatically, which makes it much simpler than having to put her up on something. So that's handy. So that is essentially it with that. Let's cancel out that pose. Go back to the ground, Peter Pan. And we'll put her back in her original demure pose and take a couple shots. And as you can see, like I said, I have a lot of these, which is why I should make a short list, but I never do. Okay. So, Alex, you're actually good. Why don't you go there? Okay, people are leaving the party, but that's okay. Party went well. Alright, we're going to put this back and move her to where I had her before. Now, sometimes, depending on the way the the pose is, it's a little too low and they'll clip through the floor. It's not always a big deal. You can put something in front of them or you can just keep, like, uh, crop the photo or take it a little bit closer anyway. So, like I said, once you're done, just move pose player out of the way. And we're going to go back into live mode. And the walls are up. Now, if you take a look, there's some lighting in here. It's not too bad. It's not set too bright. You can always do that, but I don't like putting a million lights on my properties. So if you've ever noticed, usually when I go into buy mode, not in this house, but in other houses, I have a million of these, these squares that look kind of odd to people. So what those are, actually I didn't need to go back in there. When you have testing cheats enabled on, you're going to type um, buy, B-U-Y, and then D-E-B-U-G, by debug, all one word. And then this menu comes up. You can always click off of it and it will just stay. You're going to go into miscellaneous. And um, these are, this is a daylight. And this is just a ceiling light. So this actually creates a more natural sunlight sort of um, hue to the light. But what we're going to be doing here is actually you have ceiling ones. And also, you have, if you scroll down, you have, it's way down, you have these wall area lights. Now, what I like to do is go with the 3x3, three three, and you can put them wherever. 
Now, obviously, this is turned in the direction of these people. You're going to turn it. And if you want to adjust it while you're in buy mode, well, you have to adjust it while you're in buy mode. You hold Control, Shift, and click on it. That allows you to set the color, intensity, black light, all of that exactly the way you would under normal circumstances when you're in uh, live mode with a normal light. So we're going to go dim this light, move it a little closer forward. Might be a little too close. What you want to do, see as you move it away, she gets darker. What you want to do is sort of judge it based upon how bright, uh, brightly it's shining off of their clothes. So you have that, and that usually helps out a lot. Now I actually, I actually prefer when the light is not white but flame. There you go. So that gives you an idea. It gives it a little more of an orange tint. It's a little more flattering to the sim under most circumstances. And then we just have to move it a little bit closer. You can also sometimes angle it if you need to with certain shots. It's really up to you. Um, if you move it rather close, sometimes you'll be able to create like a nice backlighting effect like you see there. But really what we want is to be able to actually see her properly in the shot. And we'll take a we'll take a photo quickly without the light as well so you can see the difference. Okay. I'm thinking about actually going back to white though. So in some instances, I know I'm I'm so great at this. Okay, so in some instances you might want it on white. Yeah, we're gonna go with white actually, just because of her her skin tone and the white shirt. Otherwise, it looks like kind of dingy on her shirt. Okay, so she's looking pretty okay right now, and we're going to bring up the cheat window again. Now, one thing you can do is. Um, if you want to get rid of the plumb bobs and all of that, you're going to, again, with testing cheats enabled on, you're going to type hide headline effects, which is all one word, true. And what that does is it gets rid of plumb bobs. As you can see, she does not have one. It also prevents um, her from, uh, it prevents it so that Oh, man, I can't think. It, it makes it so that she doesn't have those thought bubbles show up. If you want to get rid of... Oh, her hair looks weird like that, though. If you want to get rid of the uh, disease and the dream bubbles and all of that, you need a tiny textures remover. So that's something to keep in mind if you're planning on making, like, machinima or anything like that. All right. So, yes, this makes her hair look a little wonky. It's the, the hair texture... But as you can see, she's pretty well lit. I'm going to take a shot like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go back into buy mode. And we're going to delete this light. And we're going to go back into here. It helps if it's at the same angle. There you go. So this is the way it looks now. It's just, it's not as vibrant, so I prefer to have the additional lighting. You may not. Um, also, a lot of times, I see I see a number of photos, and this is fine in certain instances, but um, a lot of times, if the photo is too far back, it just makes your sims look kind of small and insignificant, and it's kind of unpleasant. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to show you a shot of her outdoors with the by debug lighting because it's nighttime so we'll go with this eh, i want you to turn though thank you because this is particularly dark so let's go back into by debug you can do it with the lights above her but it makes their faces look kind of ghoulish so i don't do it oh i'm losing my voice so hardcore okay so we're going to turn this towards her there you go now, ideally, what you want to do is make it so that it doesn't look so unrealistic. So you just pull it back a little bit. And then, a lot of times, if you set the intensity to bright... Yeah, no, that's a little too bright. So you just play around with it. So we're going to go with normal, this light. Go back into live mode. 
and it doesn't really damage the integrity of the shot because it often looks as though there's some sort of lighting outside anyway but it makes it so that you can get a clear shot of your sim outdoors at night and if she weren't wearing white it wouldn't um, it wouldn't look as uh, as jarring so let's say she were wearing uh, like a dark red or something it would look completely natural uh, and I feel I feel like it helps a good deal it, it helps create more dynamic shots without it looking depressing or inefficient. And even during daylight shots, I tend to use the by debug lighting. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't too lengthy and uh, lengthy lengthy. And hopefully this clarifies it for some people. Like I said, I mean, I know it, it's not super helpful because I didn't tell you how to put in the, uh, why don't you get inside actually? how to put in the mods. I, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to confuse you, honestly. So look up how to do that. And then this is how to use the post player and take uh, better quality shots. Um, another thing to keep in mind is oftentimes when you use pose player for a little while afterwards, even after you reload your save, for a little while afterwards, even if you reset your sims, they will uh, have some routing errors and they will walk through the floor to get to like the refrigerators and stuff. This is easily rectified after, like I said, a short period if you have Overwatch. So if you're already using mods and you're planning on using post player, I highly recommend getting Overwatch. In fact, it's the one mod that no matter what I recommend for every player because it catches stuck sims. It catches all kinds of errors and it's... Um, it also helps your game run more efficiently by removing extraneous cars and also turning off stereos and televisions in neighborhood houses. So there you go. Hopefully, like I said, this clarified it a little bit for people. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. I wouldn't be surprised if it were. Please, please, please don't ask me in the comments how to install mods. I, I'm not good at explaining it. Um, if you have Windows 8, Urban Sims has a tutorial which is helpful, but what you're going to want to do, I believe, I'm not sure, I know it worked for some people, you might need to pick up a resource CFG file, um, which is something that goes in your mods folder. A good thing to do is, like I said, if you go to the NROS how to install, it will send you to the Sims Wikia ver or, uh, page, and that gives you a pre-made mods folder that you can just install, and it has two mods in it which allow you to test whether or not they are working and whether or not your game can handle them. I will have to say as a caveat, there's a small chance that your game will not take mods. I have a friend who had to fiddle with her computer for ages in order to get the mods to work. So there's a small chance your computer won't accept them or anything like that. Um, and uh, a good thing to do, like I said, is just look at these how to install tutorials, practice safe modding tactics, look at the, uh, there are, um, there are guides out there which, like I said, if you just Google, there are guides which help you in uh, cleaning up excess files and things like that, and also guides which will help you utilize mods more efficiently. Um, I will also, in the description, put down the names of four files which you're always, always, always going to want to delete every time you install new custom content or mods or store content. In fact, it's best just to delete them every time you, uh, every time before you load up the game. But I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information, so I will put the names of those in the description. I will tell you how to get to them, and like I said, you don't want me telling you how to install mods. Uh, like I said, Urban Sims, there are other videos out there, but really the best thing to do is just find a, a tutorial, like a written tutorial in the language you speak. I know some of my viewers are not native English speakers and that's fine. I'm sure that in, in your native language, there, there must be a guide or you can translate a page. Um, but the best thing to do is find a written tutorial, take your time, and then maybe watch, maybe watch a video after that so that you understand the fundamentals before you try anything else. Okay, so I am officially done. If you have questions about using Pose Player, 
please uh, leave them in the comments. Remember to download Pose Player from Mod The Sims. If you want the Overwatch mod or any of the other mods, you download them from the NROS site. That is N as in Nancy, A, A, R as in Richard, S as in Sammy. That's what you do. Um, so yeah, hopefully you, you've, you've taken something away from this, but if not, I apologize. Thank you very much, and I will see you soon. Bye!